Hey there guys, in this video I'm going to compare the Microsoft Planner with Notion and I'm going to share with you some like important things that you need to know about both of these tools. Now, from my perspective, the Microsoft Planner is really simple. It's really good for, let's say when you're gonna have a small team of people, you're gonna have like two projects, let's say maximal, and you don't have a lot of tasks, you don't have a lot of checking in and you don't need a lot of reports for then microsoft planner is good you're gonna have a grid you're gonna have a board you're gonna have charts here schedule here you can connect it with projects so this is a good thing with microsoft planner that you can connect it with other microsoft tools but that's pretty much it about it it's super simple so here i would just click here add a new task i can open the task i can see the bucket progress priority start date due date repeat and that's it. So that's like a really simple regard to Microsoft Planner. On the other hand, with the Notion here, the Notion is a little bit different. So here you're gonna have, like you'd have a to-do list, right? If I want to, and I'm going to have a slash, it's much more complex what you can do here. You can add a table, you can link to page, then you can have like a media, a video, audio, code, table view, you can have a board view, you can have like the same thing, that I'm going to new board and I can have not started in progress done and I can create so many things with Notion. So the complexity it really depends on you, how you have it. Now for me, I don't like Notion for project management only because for me it's too, how would I lose? That's, that's the word there. I really like when I can have structure in my project management system when I would have like ClickUp or Monday.com or when I have a simple tool that I would do it. But for me, Notion is too loose, it's like, 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 like you can just do much and it's just overwhelming for me because, you know, I'm going to be honest, um, I don't work with many people, therefore I don't need a complex project management system. But if I would need a complex project management system, I would probably go with the Jira and something or it depends on the company, of course, and or I would go with the clickhourmonday.com if I would need complexity and a lot of reporting. Now, yes, you're going to have integrations also with Notion that you can use. Just be aware that with Notion, you are primarily focusing on more complex things. Not, not, you can have it simple also, but as you can see, you're just gonna have a lot of features here. I just want to make it as a really quick comparison between these two tools for you to know, like which one is better, which one is not, what you should do, what you shouldn't do. And that's pretty much it. I just hope this video gave you at least a little bit of value. So yes, Microsoft Planner is good. Just be aware that it's not, mm, like so complex how many things you can do here it's simply you can have start date due date done but i just can't have like the progress priority but i can't add here more columns here is different so when i'm going to have slash table right i can just add here multiple things when i'm going to have slash here again i can add multiple things so like list view table view And look, I can click plus here and I have like type here and all these other things. So just want to make this quick video for you. Hope it is beneficial. So have a great day and goodbye.